48, 49. I'm not sure if that included kicks or not, um, but that's just what we hoped for. We were hoping for three drives with the ones and twos, and then one drive with the threes, and I think that's what we got. Tough, tough way to start with Yona going down. What do you know? Re really difficult. Um, he has broken his um, small bone lower leg, and it was dislocated. Um, that's about a, a minimum of a six-week um, non-weight bearing with a pin and a screw. And um, uh, Yona's role was continuing to expand, and we really believed he was the next version um, of kind of Manasseh. And so through camp, his role kept expanding. And so there'll have to be some adjustment now. Fortunately, we're deep at running back. We have a full back. Mike Elisa is a nice kind of a cross-trained type of player. Um, so it's just, it's the worst part of coaching. So, uh, Did you know yesterday you were going to go live kickoff to start, or were you? We, we knew we were going to do some live special teams work. It was just how many. And so this morning we decided on special teams coaches were hopeful to get three kicks and three punts. Um, and so we got two kickoffs, and I think one, did we get two punts today as well? Two punts, two yeah. kickoffs. So that's, that's what we're decided on. Beyond that, general impressions for the day? I think the offensive line uh, was maybe the most cohesive and group that stood out the most. I liked how physical they were today. And without um, sending a lot of pressure in terms of just one-on-one -on -one battles, I think the offensive line and the running backs ran hard. Um, Jake and the receivers played about how they've been playing through camp. But I thought the difference today, or the, maybe the biggest step forward, was um, our, our physical play at the offensive line and how our running backs ran the ball. A few offsides, fault starts, just to be expected from a Yeah, first I thought there'd be more. Uh -huh. um, and I always hope the officials throw more than less flags to begin with. Just at practice, I can't blow the whistle and officiate everything, and so it's nice to have more sets of eyes. And so, again, I'd rather have them throw more flags than less. How do you like your depth? I like it. Um, it was enough to, to give some players a little work and not a lot of work and still have what looks like a quality team out there on the field. And so that was that was positive. Did this help shore up any position battles or just muddy the waters it, it, even more? No, it, it will. Um, in some cases, and, and the second part might happen as well once we see the film. Um, and we were hopeful to use this as an evaluation tool, and that will be our intent. And my, my hope is, and you know, when we visit next week, I'll... I would like to be able to say we're more solid here, and this is still dead even, and you know, we'll have to look to see. What did you like on the defensive side? You know, just the, the general execution I thought was more solid. Um, and again, without a lot of high frills and, and different kind of uh, variety, it just seemed like the execution was a little bit more sound. I would have liked to see the defensive front play more physical today, and I think our play action concentration in the secondary can improve. But surrounding those two points, it's, it's stepping forward. I mean, I think it's con continuing progress. Was, Mah was Mahina available to you today, or was he, you know, if he was he, in or he out? Was, he was available. Okay. Um, I'm not sure what the offensive plan was, okay. was with him. Okay. Any particular guys stand out today in your catch your eye as oh, having good days? Let's, let's see. You know, I just think Jake is, mm -hmm. I was really impressed with the way he played, and um, without making a big deal about it, he just continues to improve and get better and better. I like his poise, I like his maturity. Um, and I like just where he's putting football. And so uh, I would say if I had to name anyone. And then I think uh, throughout the scrimmage, possibly Preston Hadley defensively made a few plays in the secondary, at least in run support. I can't say yet that that's the same level of what I noticed from Jake, but maybe those two. Back to Yonah.